We all know it's tough enough to be a teenager, but now statistics show Latina teenagers are taking their own lives at an alarming rate. Moms are talking about it. City leaders are talking about it. We are talking about it. What made you want to kill yourself? Around the age of 13, I got raped. We're protecting the identity of this 19-year-old Bronx teen. She wants to talk about her pain, hoping that someone watching will learn from her story. It hurts you to, to hear this, right, as a mama? Yeah, yeah. Her mom still cries about it. Her daughter, a star student. She even showed us her diplomas. But none of that mattered. She couldn't pull her daughter out of depression. As a mother, that must break your heart. El corazón. You're very brave. The commissioner of the Administration for Children's Services, David Hansel, was at a special summit Wednesday of moms, social workers, and city and state leaders in Midtown. This epidemic, and that's really what it is. It's an epidemic. It is an epidemic. And if we're going wow. to address that, I think we have to be, be honest. There are 312,000 Hispanic girls that live in New York City right now, and the population continues to grow. 18.5% have thought about suicide. 13.2% have tried to commit suicide. That's the highest percentage of any other ethnicity. Why is nobody talking about this, Commissioner? Well, I think a lot of people are talking about it. The First Lady has certainly been a leader. Commissioner Hansel says sexual abuse, neglect, drug abuse, bullying, and fears about immigration are all contributing factors. The girl, she wants to do what other peers do. And yeah. Mama says, oh, no, no, in Dominican Republic or in Salvador, we didn't do that. Dr. Rosa Gill is the president of Communal Life, the nonprofit group that runs an initiative called Life is Precious, the first Latina teenage suicide prevention program in New York City. Calls for help, she says, are up. Children who are seven, eight years old, and they come to the clinic and they're crying. I'm afraid of going home and I'm not going to find my mom there because she had been taken by the police. And we'll have all the resources for young Latinas on our website at pix11.com, and we're going to continue the conversation. In Midtown, Monica Morales, Pix11 News.